Welcome to the first episode of our Morella Voyager vlog series. In this series, we show you what the seven day maiden voyage was like on the newest ship in the Morella fleet. Our journey began very early at Bristol Airport. As part of Morella's all-inclusive cruise deals, all flights and transfers are included in your cruise fare. After a two-hour flight, we landed in Palma, Mallorca. And after a 20-minute transfer, we arrived at the port and experienced a very slick check-in process. With our cruise cards in hand, we headed to the ship. Boarding. Oh, there she is, look. Morella Voyager, the maiden cruise. How exciting is that, Paulie Morgan? And here she is. Yeah, no. about, oh, <laughs> there she is. Shiny and just like you. Mm. As you may or may not know, Carol loves statistics. So here are some facts and figures about the Morella Voyager. For random facts such as, it took 18,500 litres of paint to revamp the hull on the Morella Voyager. That's enough to fill 14 six-seater hot tubs. For more random facts, visit our website. We've got a card. We've got a card. Yes. cabin time and we're in 10 0 0 6 2. not that no we're not we're in 10 0 <laughs> 6 2. yes there's not um 10 000 <laughs> cabins on this ship it's 10 0 6 2. so let's go hello hello let's go you are 10 0 6 2. so i think it must yeah. be just down here thank you so much Right, so we're really excited about this because the last time we were on Morella Discover Discovery we had a, a mini suite. Well, it's called a junior suite on Morella and that's what we booked this time. So our cabin should be just about here. There it is. Ooh. What are you excited about? What? Hello! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> right then, exciting time seeing the cabin. Hope you like it. Hope so too. So do I. <laughs> Please enjoy your yeah, yeah, see you later. You. Oh, let's get some lights on because this looks quite promising. Oh, anywhere to put the slot? Oh, look at this. This is a good size, isn't it, Paulie? Oh, what have we got here? Wow, look at all this. We've got internet. We've got. Oh, paper, paper. But look at all this paper, Paulie. Oh, she's. Oh, I'm in heaven. I'm in absolute heaven. So we've got all this to have a read through. We've got our muster station um, video to, to listen to. We need to work, learn how to do the lights. I'm loving this, Paulie, aren't you? What a fantastic size. Look at the... I can just see a bit of the balcony. Oh, my God, it's huge. What? what? Come on, Paulie, quickly. Oh, I, I quick, quick, go. get out. <laughs> oh, oh look at this. This is special. Wow, wow, wow. I didn't know we were getting... No, no, we were no getting I didn't. I didn't think it was any uh, wider, but look at this. Oh, my God. Is that a hammock? Oh, that's um, going to be interesting later. Look at this. We've got a sunbed, little table, and a seat and two chairs. And this is a palmer. 
This is very exciting, isn't it, Pauline? This is fantastic. This is awesome. This. Now, we're not going to get a chance to explore Palma today, but stick with us after our vlog series because we've got three nights booked in Palma and uh, you can come with us and explore this fabulous city, uh, which I haven't been back to since about 1983 when I was on my nurse training and on 18 to 30 holiday. Anyway, what do you think so far, Pauline? I am very, very impressed. Mm. I think this is a hammock, isn't it? Look. Got rope and everything. And what it is with the cabin, which is really unusual, is it's very square. Yes, and, and I the love bed the bed is facing, facing the window. Facing out of the, yeah, so that means that I won't get any sleep because I can guarantee you now, Carl, like, don't draw the curtains any because I want to look out when the sun comes out. I know. <laughs> he gets plenty of sleep, as you all know, because you see him in bed. Anyway, back into the cabin, Paul. What's the bathroom like? Come on. We've got some little presents there by the looks. How awesome. And we've got whoop, 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 oh, a kettle. I knew there was a downside. There's no bathroom. I think there might be. No shower curtains here. Look at all this as well. We've got swell. We're going to be doing a full tr uh, cabin tour, obviously, and um, once we've um, been living here, so we can give you a true. Um, oh my God! Paulie's doing the the shower dance, and look at that room. No shower curtain. We're in heaven, aren't we, Paulie? Oh. What's the matter? There's two showers. There's two showers. Oh, we can shower together. Oh, saucy! <laughs> but this is lush, isn't it? Oh, I'm liking it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So we're going to get our, um, get orientated to the room and then we're going to go and find a drink because we're parts. We've just flown we're in from you, Bristol. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to stop you there. What? We're going to get oriented. Orientated. Orientated to the room. Yes. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> get to know it, honey. Get to know it. Well, say that then. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we will catch you in a bit. We've already having, we're already having a row. No. I want to go to the snack shack and have fish and chips. Carl wants to go to the gravy boat yes. and have a roast dinner. Now, here's what I know. I know that the snack shack will definitely be open, but I don't think the gravy boat will as it's embarkation day. So, who's going to be the winner? Right. Well, we're going to go... F <laughs> so, we've... First impression of this cabin, awesome, isn't it, Paulie? Oh, Nothing that I've seen yet. I'm thinking, oh, that's not what we like. So that's a big tick, isn't it? Yeah. So definitely. let's go and start exploring the rest of the ship. Yes. Yes. Snack shack time. <laughs> Nothing to say? No. <laughs> that's me. One of the things that I was most excited about about coming on the ship was definitely the kitchens. Yeah. Which is um, their take on a buffet, but loads of different venues i think up to 10 different venues obviously the one that carol was most excited mm. about was a place called the gravy boat exactly. why she would be interested in that i don't know. i love gravy so just one up from our cabin is the kitchens as paul is here and this is where the gravy boat is, is so bad that we're one from the <laughs> kitchens oh my god oh, oh my god so let's have a look so i can see the gravy boat oh Here's what I've been looking forward to, the gravy boat. Oh, look at this. What are these? They're Yorkshire puddings, Paulie, full of stuff. Oh, wow. And there's the lunch menu over there. Daily roast, vegan roast, Sunday gravy. Oh, I'm sold. Roast bat and seasonal greens. Here comes Paulie. What's he got? Ah! Oh! Look at this. So, what is it, Paulie? I have got a chicken and mushroom pie. Yeah. Roast potatoes. Roast vegetables. This and is what's the, that? This is Yorkshire pudding with something in it. This in a wrap, I don't know why it's in a wrap. Let's get into it and have a look. Ooh. Oh, he's oh. got meat in the middle. Oh. oh. So, Paulie's got his way, didn't he? Got to the snack shack. <laughs> now it's my Not turn. For the first time ever, <laughs> I'm the loser. Right then, so I've got a, a gammon Yorkshire wrap, roast potatoes, there's some sage and onion stuffing, 
some uh, beans and some gravy. Ooh. Yeah, you're enjoying that, Pauline. And we've got the drinks package, so a glass of wine. It's a little baby Foster's, Pauline. Mm, happy days, isn't it? Straight in, I wanted to go to the snack shack. That's always like a, almost a staple for me, is when we come on a Morella cruise, first stop, fish and chip, fish and chips at the snack shack. But Carol overruled me, and I'm so glad that she did. What I always do, always, always, always do, is because I'm a greedy little pig lad, I just go in and the first thing I see, that's it. And then 10 minutes later, Carol will sit down and is like, oh, I didn't see that, I didn't see that. So I broke with tradition you did. and I did a full lap of the kitchens. So let's give you examples of what we've got. We've got uh, the banyan leaf. Banyan leaf, which is um, Indian. Yeah. And we, it, what um, the thing is as well, we, we, we were lucky enough to speak to a couple of chefs. Yeah. Now the menu is ever changing. So it won't be a the same. dinner time. A dinner, yeah, yeah. So it won't be the same menu, thing every day. Which is, yeah. can be the same. So it won't be the same thing every day. But yeah, So we, we had the banyan tree. We had bamboo, which is Chinese. We had the gravy boat, which is roast. We had the pastry crust. Crust. Which, which is pies. Oh, he loves they pies. Two, they had two different pies. Vegetarian pie, which was a sweet potato and... Oh, what's them Spinach, things? Spinach, isn't it? Uh, what's them things that you make hummus out of? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. <laughs> With chickpea and sweet potato. Yeah. But the pie of choice for me was uh, a chicken and mushroom mm. pie, which is Carol's favourite pie. It's not my favourite, but I love pie. So I had a chicken and mushroom pie. Now, they'd had chips and mushy peas and all sorts, but what I did, I thought Carol would be so proud of me. I got my pie from the pastry place, and then I went to the gravy boat, mm. and I got roast potatoes, I got Yorkshire pudding wrap, and I got roast vegetables, and I got gravy, mm. and it was immense. Exactly. Was so I had a roast, obviously, like I've said, and that was delicious too. Paul then went for dessert, um, and came back with... Oh no, I did go for dessert, and I came back with two chocolate eclairs. No, you did yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, you did? And then I had those chocolate clairs, <laughs> and I thought, I wonder what ah. else is on offer. So, as a second dessert, I had sweet and sour pork with egg fried rice. Exactly. So, so much choice. There's a salad bar, there's a patisserie, there's a bread, and the, isn't there? Yeah, there's a sandwich. There's, there's loads. A, there's a sandwich bar. There's a, there's a Greek, which does yes. all like, um, I mean, yesterday they had, they had all skewers, mm. and they had pitas, and they had all sorts but of I'm stuff. But I'm sure we'll be bringing you lots more oh, from the kitchen. Basically. If I could drag Paul out of there. The re all all the episodes of our Morella no, vlog is all going to be no. no, it won't be, but it could yes. easily be what it we had, be. what we had well, in the kitchen today. Be. Yes. Exactly that. Fabulous. Obviously, it's our first, it was our first day on board, so we had to do muster, and we're so pleased to see that too. We haven't gone back to the traditional way of getting everyone standing outside like some cruise lines have. You've got a navigate app, as you see here, and what you need to do is watch a video on the navigate app, and then you need to go to your muster station. Yet yeah, it's only Teddy Paws pointing at the TV, and we've got a lovely big TV on our cabin. In fact, we've got a junior suite, but more about that later. So navigate app, it's got everything on this app that you need to book. But we'll show you more of that as we're going along because it's actually easy to yeah, it is, yeah. and it's working it's really well. It's easy to navigate. It is. Oh, see what I did there. <laughs> and the other thing I wanted to mention is I mean, you don't have to worry about plastic bottled water on the ship. You can get it on the Premier All Inclusive. However, they've got water stations, and ours is literally we're right by the lift, which we haven't had any noise no, from, have no, we? Well. And it's across the way, and you get given a glass carafe, a carafe, yes, yeah, to go and fill up. So that is another thing that yeah. I love about Marilla. You don't have to worry about buying. Um, water. water and using plastic. Yes. So as well as the app, you've got paper. Woo! You know how much I love paper. Carol loves the I paper. do. And it's important, it's more important than ever, especially when you're on a, a new ship, Yeah. that you know what's going on and where it's going on. Carol loves to organise, I don't know if you've ever noticed that at all, and so she can look at that and she can pan, uh, plan 
and pan out exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. Right then, so after all the excitement of getting on board and the gravy boat and oh the pies, we decided we needed a, a nap because we've been up since three o'clock in the morning. Uh, but we're all refreshed now, aren't we, Pauline? We're all, re well, we're not completely refreshed, but we're, we're yeah. I'd say, 75% refreshed. Yes, we've just been admiring the lovely views, as you can see from here, Palmer, which is just absolutely fantastic. The sun's out, so we're going to go and explore some outside areas on the ship so come on get, let's go get a drink Woo. yes <laughs> so we've just come up to the pool bar and talking to the lovely lads behind the bar about the drinks packages now we're on the standard drinks package which is uh, the standard all-inclusive but you can upgrade to the premier package for 80 pounds for the week so we've got per person, person. <laughs> yeah Paul is piping there look there he is Hello there. By Ada, look, Ada's out the window. That new ship, Ada Cosma. Anyway, back to the drinks packages. So we're going to have a look to see um, what's on offer. The only cider on the um, standard package so far is Strongbow. We do have a, have a full post all about it on our website, so make sure you check that out, and we'll be we'll updating it again when we get home. But there's no Bloody Marys. How bad's that? So we'll see, but we'll keep you posted about the drinks prices, etc. And uh, we'll see how we get on. What we immediately have found after being on the ship for just a few short hours, everybody is happy to see you, all yeah. the staff, from the cleaner to the head chef yeah. and everybody in between, all the bar staff, all the restaurant staff at the kitchens, everybody yeah. is smiling, everybody yeah. is really, you know, they genuinely look like they're pleased to exactly. see you. And, and it's been so refreshing. It has, because, because the last few cruises we've had, we've had good service and we've had some happy staff, but if you go, go and watch our p and um, I own a video review you know we had a fantastic time and there's lots of good things but one thing was the staff didn't seem to have that joy they didn't feel like they didn't seem like they wanted a beer no whereas everybody on yeah the beer. it's and been amazing yes and it bought us one of the reasons that it brought us all the way back yeah how I described it is putting on your favorite pair of shoes or yes. a nice pair of slippers it's, it, it feels like your home yes and Whenever we've done Morella in the past, that is one of the standout things. Yeah. Is how happy and smiley yeah. the staff All are. the staff are, not just certain groups. Yeah. So, so it's so yeah. good to be back on a Morella yeah. ship. Yeah. I wanted to mention as well, because the captain, I love him because you find out all about the staff and that on here. You love And the it. captain, I don't love him, I don't know him. Oh, no, sorry. But, what we, <laughs> but what we do know is here, this is Captain Steve. And I should tell you a little bit about Captain Steve because he is born in the not so seafaring town of Cheltenham. And that's just down the road from that's, us. That's eight miles from where we live. Yes, and Steve has always been keen to travel and run away to sea. He joined Morella Cruises in 2017 on Morella Discovery 2, and he's been on Morella Explorer before he took command of Morella Dream, which we loved, didn't yeah, we, the we dream? Love the dream. Um, Steve is delighted to be leading Morella Voyager into the fleet and even happier to be working on our guests on board. So, um, yes, so tomorrow we're hoping to, to meet Captain Steve because it's it's dressed from press night tomorrow. So, yeah, so we're going to give him a bit of stick, obviously, because there's a <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of rivalry between Charlton and yes, a friendly, uh, friendly rivalry. Yes. So we'll give him a bit of ribbon tomorrow when we see him. Exactly. So then it was time for our first bit of entertainment on Morella Voyager, and we were really excited because our previous experiences on Discovery and Explorer ships has been the show team and the entertainment we've had on board has been top notch. Yes, indeed. So we went to the theatre and we were pleased to see um, that it's sofa type seating and you've got tables to put your drinks. And with Morella, what can happen is, well, what does happen is that you can they have tables of drinks that you can just pick up as you walk yeah. in because this is an all-inclusive cruiser standard with Morella so that's another thing we love because there's nothing there's no hidden costs yeah. so um, so outside just to surmise outside the theatre you've got um, cans of beer there was a couple of different types of lager um, there was Prosecco there was white wine red wine yeah there were some cocktails there were some soft drinks you just pick up and take whatever you want and take your seat and yes. what they've got is for about every sort of four or five seats they've got a little table in front of you mm. which is great because if you can get by a table you've got somewhere to put your drinks yeah it was perfect and, really comfortable seats and you're good to go and like, like Carol said because it's sofa style if you have got a, a larger derriere like we have you don't have to worry about squashing <laughs> well, into the seats but no it yes. is an issue no it is and we, not, and we not, know, 
Yeah, and we know some people with no, but we know some people with yeah. different bottoms than us, and it keeps them away from, from the going theater to the theatre because they can't get in the seats. Yeah. So I think that's a I think that's a fabulous idea. Yes, so totally. Yeah. The only thing is because the seats are quite high, my feet didn't touch the floor, but then that's nothing new, is it? The seats aren't quite high. <laughs> the seats are perfectly normal height <laughs> for normal people. Yeah. So we sat. If you've been watching our vlogs, you know that we sit like to sit right at the front of the theatre. So we sat there. But that proved to be a mistake because the, the, the stage is really the, high. But we thought, well, there. let's see for the first <laughs> night. We did have a good. You could you couldn't see right to the back stage, but we did have a good view of yeah. obviously everyone coming towards us. Yeah. But we we won't do that again. We'll probably sit about three seats back yeah, it needs uh, to tomorrow. Because but the show was the new Morella show called The Summer of Love, and so we're excited to see it. And it was an excellent show. We thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it. The team are very very talented as we expected, so we weren't yeah. disappointed in that. The only thing that we did feel about it it was um it didn't it had a loose story to it but it didn't have a narrative or a story and we love a, a typical sort of west end play where you get people talking and, and describing a story and watching that unfold yeah. this did have a loose story to it because it was obviously about a love yeah. story but, but it, it didn't tick that box for us but just to sort of delve into what carol means is the show was all the way through song and dance, song and dance, song and dance, song and dance, yeah. all which was very good. But in between the song and dance, and there was nothing. What we like is a bit of like, um, you know, when you go to a West End show and there's some dialogue in between, sort of setting yeah. the scene ready for the next song. Yeah. Whereas this was song, 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 all the way through. But all telling of, a story, all, telling a story a through one. the song. But we like, we prefer a bit of narrative. Yeah. That's just our th personal th yeah. choice. I think it's sort of the way that a lot of shows are now going because it means then that it's what what's the word I'm looking for multicultural so you don't have yes. to worry about language uh, different issues. language barriers and yeah, stuff like that because it's all songs but it was like I said all the songs were fantastic it was, yeah, all, great it was all stuff from the the summer of love which was the 60s yes and flower, yeah, power. flower power and all that sort of stuff and it was great it was yeah yeah but tomorrow we've got Havana night so let's see if that's going to be the same yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but we'll obviously we'll let you we'll know keep, um, we'll keep you posted exactly that so then it was time for Sail Away Party, which was late, wasn't it? It was half past nine. It was delayed because there was two, unfortunately, two flights were delayed. Yes, yeah, So, um, it, obviously, it would have been bad for him just to say, well, you know, sorry, mate. So uh, that's the beauty of the Morella type cruise as well you haven't got to worry because or because the package is your flights and the cruise and, and, transfer. your, tra and your transfers from the airport yeah. you haven't got to worry about being left behind because you'll yeah. be flying on a, a two-way flight yes. to go on a two-way holiday which is morella so whatever time those flights were coming in that's when we would have waited till so that was yeah, great good, that's even, a good yeah. point too. so even though it started a little bit late yeah um, but on our website paul's put together a, a post all about what's included in a marina cruise so uh, make sure you check it yeah out. check that out too yeah so when it got going, Johnny, the cruise director, yeah. he came on, he did a bit of song and dance, and then with the show team, who was fresh from doing their show, yeah. they came up and did some song, uh, singing and dancing, and then uh, the house band, which is a Filipino band, yeah. uh, and then they came on, and they, they, they went yeah, for ages great. as well, and it yeah. was really, really Three, two, one.
pool deck's big. It's got a raised um, stage in the middle, so that's good for performers. But from a passenger point of view, I wanted to get some photos right in front of the stage of the singers, and you can't unless you get in the swimming pool. So, so I was taking some, but I wasn't going to get in the swimming pool with my dress on. She won't even make any sacrifices. <laughs> so that's my only first observation of the pool yeah. deck um, is that if you wanted a lot of ships, you'd have a bit of a party to get everyone up dancing. Yeah. And there was a few people dancing in the periphery, but not many. Lots of people watching from the up, you know, on the sun decks. Um, but you, you, yeah. So that was my only observation with that. But we enjoyed it, and yeah. it was so lovely. We already had so many people coming up to say hi to us. So we can't name you all here because we had so many. But thank you for coming and saying hi. It's been it's been great to meet you all. So then uh, we thought, oh my god, we're a bit peckish, weren't we? So we headed back to the kitchens because we knew it was open. They're open till for late night snacks until midnight. Exactly. I know it's lethal though, isn't it? So anyway, we went there and they had a selection on, not huge selection, but some curries and some pies. So everything that Paul loves. They had burgers, fries, they had some curries, they had some pie. Yeah. So a good little section, a little tiny dessert section as well, but more than enough. You can't expect them to have no. all 10 venues open at, you know, until midnight. No. So we had, a, we had a little snack clut and then um, we uh, bumped into Travels with Johnny and Will. Yes. Who were a lovely couple of lads from Northern Ireland. Yes. And um, so we had a we had a chat with them and then um, we had um, a couple for the road. We did at Summer House, which is right, it's a bar, isn't it, which is behind the kitchen. Yes. And it's got an outside area, which is lovely. The only thing about that, you sit the outside area and they give you plastic glasses. Yeah. I don't understand it's around the pool, but it's an outside bar, so it would be nice to have glass and um, glass. And glass are, glasses and even though you've met us i do consider that we are responsible adults you can you know comments yes. comments down below about that <laughs> so that was the only uh, slight thing because everything tastes better out of glass it does it does it does, plastic. It does. But we had a lovely catch-up with johnny yeah and, Will. and we sat the european for ages yes. didn't we and before we knew it, it was the bar, before we knew it the bar was shut. yes and it was like nearly 20 to 1. Yeah. when they're starting to sweep under the table <laughs> you know it's time to leave uh, but if you don't i'm not following johnny Will, make sure you do yeah. they're a lovely couple of lads like i say from ireland and we just laughed didn't yes. we we had such a laugh so that was our first day on morello voyager and what a good day it was fabulous so join us in the next episode where we spend a day at sea it's dressed to impress night we meet the captain and we enjoy our first speciality restaurant experience